Welcome to the Tekken Clinic, I'm Ty Campbell. Thank you for joining me and in this video we are going to cover installing one of our Tekken steering servos or throttle servo if you want to use it for a throttle servo in a nitro car. And we are going to install it in a TLR8XE, a scale electric full drive buggy chassis. So let's check out what's in our box and get this servo installed. Now some of you are probably wondering what the numbers mean for each servo's designation. And it's pretty simple. Basically that 250 on this T250 means you can expect about 250 ounces of torque at six volts. Now we rated them at seven four and at eight volts. So the torque is obviously gonna change as is the speed. I'm gonna run this on our RX8's high voltage BEC. So we should expect more around 300 ounces of torque and a 0.08 second transit speed versus the 0.09 at six volts. So in our servo box, we've got our T250 servo, we've got our crowbar clamping servo horn. Up here in the top, we've got all your standard servo goodies. There is actually a plastic servo arm in here that has an aluminum collar that goes around it. It's actually a really good plastic servo arm if you ever need to run anything that's lightweight. Otherwise, we're just gonna use the clamping crowbar design. To mount our servo, we'll just go ahead and feed it into the TLR servo mount. You wanna fish this wire through. This is actually gonna go into our receiver box. And then use the M3 by 12 millimeter socket cap screws with a washer. Pretty straightforward mounting the servo in the car. It's just like any other standard servo you would see out there. Setting up our servo is really easy. All you need to do is make sure that your transmitter is bound to your receiver and then go ahead and power on the car and that will let the servo find center. So servo is on, just make sure. We're gonna go ahead and hook up our steering linkage with our 20 millimeter crowbar arm. You wanna make sure that this comes off the servo about 90 degrees. That way you get your left and right throws equal. So we've got that on there. Looks like our steering throw is backwards right now. So we're gonna reverse our steering. Once we reversed our steering, just verify it's turned the right way. So this left, right, then we're gonna set our endpoints or the EPAs, the endpoint adjustments in the transmitter. This could be under a couple different things depending on your transmitter. Usually it's under something called travel or servo or something along those lines. So once you're in the travel menu, you just wanna go ahead and turn all the way one direction. And you can see that this is turning too far and tweaking our receiver box a little bit. So we're gonna turn the left throw down just a bit. There we go. Now we'll do the right side. There we go. So we got left and right EPA set. Once that's all set, you'll just wanna put the screw in the top of here, tighten down these two clamping screws. That'll actually clamp the servo horn onto the spline gear and then put that top screw in just to hold everything together. That is it, installing our servos is extremely simple and straightforward, and they are also programmable with our Hotwire PC interface. So we'll have another video on that just to check out everything this servo really can do, such as setting uh, various alarms, you can set the endpoints in the servo itself, you can change the speed, uh, there's torque, there's soft starts. You can also set the center point of the servo in the Hotwire software, but we'll cover all of that in another video. I'm Ty Campbell. Thanks for checking out how to install Tekken servos. We'll see you next time.